welcome back to the Littlest Jungle. Today I'm going to share with you two of my favorite plant identification apps. This video is not sponsored. These are two apps that I really do use every day and so I just wanted to share them as kind of a helpful tool, especially for people who are new to plants. Now the first one is called Picture This. It's really simple to use. You just open the app and using the camera, which is labeled identify plants, you hold it over the plant you're looking at, snap a photo, and it tells you what it is. The nice part about this app is that it gives you a few different options. So if you look at the first photo and think, mm, that's not quite right, that's not quite what I'm seeing, you can just slide it over and take a look at other suggestions. If you find that the plant doesn't have a match or it's not quite what you're seeing, you can go to the very end of the possible list, click no match and ask for help. This will put it out to the picture this community so that other users and plant experts can help identify your plant for you. The second app is called Plant Snap. Now in practice, it's really similar to picture this. You hold it over the plant, snap a photo, and get some suggested results. Now this app has a different database than Picture This, and so that's why I recommend using at least two, if not more apps, if you're really having a hard time finding something, because different apps may be able to better identify different plants. In this one, you are limited to 25 plants per day. I personally have not come up against that issue, but it's just something I'm putting out there. Similar to picture this, it will give you a few other options in terms of what the plant could possibly be, but it doesn't give you the option to phone a friend. So that's something else to keep in mind. I usually start with picture this because it has that phone a friend option and it doesn't have the limit. Now, both apps do have a premium services option. Um, in Picture This, it allows you more direct contact with their plant experts, so you can ask for additional help, and gives you a little bit more access to information about the plant that you found. In the second one, Plant Snap, it takes off that photo limit so you can do more than 25 plants per day, and gives you additional community access. Now, there are a number of other plant ID apps out there. I've tried a few of them. A lot of them do have paywalls, and so that's why I recommended these two. I feel like you get the most utility without having to pay for them. Well, that's it for today. Short and sweet video on two apps that I use the most for plant identification. Now again, it's not sponsored, just two apps I've really enjoyed using. If you like this video, feel free to give us a like and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to hear from you all in the comments down below if you have any other plant ID or just planty apps that you love to. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all later. Bye!